Hi, I'm Alexandra Gossi, U.S. Representative Brand Ambassador for Craft Resin and owner of Magically Resin. I would like to offer some ideas to help you set your resin goals for 2023. I take inspirational photos all year long of pretty much everything I think is interesting. Texture, color, the way that it reflects the light, the way it doesn't reflect the light. I have so many inspirational photos that I take all year long. And at the end of the year, I like to pare that down to 12 that have a particularly cool element of something that I really want to test out in the next year. Then I use these to help me grow either artistically or professionally. I assign a month to each of the photographs relative to the seasons or what I think will be interesting, what I might feel that I want to work on at that particular point in the coming year. And I make a mental note of what it was in that photograph that really grabbed me in the first place. Then each month when I'm feeling particularly rested and, and mindful and ready for some growth, and especially when I don't have a lot of projects on my plate already, I really like to pull out the photograph and make a piece based on it and try something new and grow from the experience. The piece that you've just seen was based on a photograph that I took in December of the most beautiful sunrise. And I loved how um, the trees were dark, but the sunrise was so gorgeous and light behind it. And the juxtaposition of the shadow and the light was really pretty. And I wanted to play with that in a resin piece. So I had a tray that I had already poured part of with some excess resin from another project that turned out so pretty. And it also felt very um, outdoorsy, tree-like, reminiscent of winter. It had all the same feelings that the photograph did. So I thought it would be really cool to embed the photograph in what will be the base of this tray once I turn it over because the mold is upside down. So the photograph that you saw earlier was my inspiration piece, and this is my January inspiration. And boy, did I learn a lot from doing this. The piece turned out to be just one of the most gorgeous things I've made lately. So I'm really thrilled, and it's completely different than anything that I've made before. So I've mixed up my craft resin, of course, because craft resin is just the amazing go-to for anything like this where bubbles definitely can be a problem. If you're laying an inlay into any mold, it is very difficult not to get bubbles trapped underneath the inlay. So I've had my craft resin, I've mixed it for seven minutes. I've had it sitting for about 10 minutes and now I've poured in the first clear layer just enough to cover the border edge and to cover the whole bottom. And I'm blowing it out so that any bubbles that are there will get released to the top. And also, I want it to be pretty warm and really, really low viscosity when I put my photo in, in here in a minute because I want the photo to just lay right over the top you can see here in a minute, it's transparent. So I can see that there aren't any bubbles underneath it as I'm laying it in. So I really want that resin to be very, very thin with absolutely no bubbles. I printed out this transparency on a color laser printer. It could be done with an inkjet printer too. If y'all would like a tutorial for how I made the border of this tray or for how I printed this transparency, just be sure and mention it in the comments. I have my own YouTube channel as well that I'm happy to do all kinds of tutorials on it for anything y'all are interested in. I might do it on this channel as well. 
but I'm laying out the transparency that I'd already cut to the right size. And I am being super careful to make sure that no air gets trapped underneath it. And I saw that I had a little hair underneath it. So obviously I don't want that to be trapped underneath either. I have cats and dogs and pet hair is a problem that I always have to be on guard for. So I'm glad that I don't have to worry about bubbles with craft resin because I already have enough to look out for with pet hair. So I'm squishing it down to get all the air bubbles released. You can see that I'm holding up the bottom of the transparency. I only release it after I'm sure that there's no air trapped on the part that's already made contact. Now I'm pushing down the edge to submerge it into the resin. After I've made sure that there is no air bubbles, now I want to make sure that there aren't going to be that there aren't going to be any air bubbles and go ahead and get the piece submerged in the resin all the way around the edge cuz that's where the air bubbles would come from if the piece shifts or anything like that and I don't happen to catch it. So it's really important to get then all of the edges covered, but I don't wanna do it from the center because I'm still using my glove to push it down and I'm still using the center. So that will be the last part that I cover is after I get the edge really well covered, then I will move to the center with the last bit of resin that I have left. I am gonna move into a time lapse while I finish covering the top of this with resin and pushing it in wherever I can. Basically the same process, I want this entire piece covered with resin and I definitely don't wanna introduce bubbles now where there aren't any bubbles. You can see as I do this how the picture starts to become so much more clear once you embed all of this into the resin and there's no bubbles the photograph on the transparency absolutely comes to life and i think this process is really pretty magical it was very fun to watch it as i was making it and then the result of it was completely breathtaking it did really capture the feeling of the sunrise. I hope this tutorial was inspirational for you, that it helped you think about your resin goals for 2023, the things that you might wanna try, the things you're feeling hesitant about, and breaking it down into month by month and give yourself time for creative exploration when you're not feeling under the gun. I am amazed even how much I learned by doing this video and making this piece. I, I grew from this whole process. So thank you so much. I appreciate you joining me for this adventure. I will list all of the things that I used in the description below. Craft resin is such a dream to work with. I really appreciate that they're giving me the freedom to make these videos. And if you have any ideas or suggestions or questions, please feel free to ask and leave them in the comments. And certainly, if you have some ideas for future videos that you'd like me to film, please let me know. I am very open to your feedback.